hello so in this video we will talk about the so-called uh, beta distribution so let's assume that we have a function which has this form so we have uh, f of x this is equal to x to the sum alpha minus 1 and 1 minus x to the sum beta minus 1 and this is only defined from 0 to 1 so in order to make it a PDF what do we do we just divide it by this integral so that the overall integral is 1 okay okay and since x is from 0 to 1 this this guy is always positive here okay so it I mean positive or I would say non-negative okay so then this guy here this is known as the beta function for parameters alpha and beta and this is also related to the so-called gamma function here as this guy. So then this is, I mean, this is the reciprocal of this, why so this is equal to this. Okay. And then recall that, what is the gamma function? Gamma function is given by this expression. So now our job is to find the mean and the variance of this beta distribution or beta random variable for this what we will what we want to use it we want to use the uh, property of a gamma function that gamma of alpha uh, times alpha uh, so this is equal to gamma of alpha plus one okay so before we actually use it let's prove it although we have proved it in a in a previous video uh, some time back but uh, let's prove it here again for the sake of completion okay so let's start with this guy here okay so what is gamma of alpha plus one by definition we have this is equal to zero to infinity x to the alpha plus one minus one e to the minus x dx correct this is equal to zero to infinity x to the alpha e to the minus x dx okay now recall our integration by parts here so we say u is equal to x to the alpha du this is equal to alpha x to the alpha minus 1 and dv this is equal to e to the minus x dx which means v is equal to minus e to the minus x correct so now this is equal to u v so this is equal to u v u is what x to the alpha v is what minus e to the minus x and minus v du so this minus and this minus will make it plus so 0 to infinity alpha x to the minus uh, x to the alpha minus 1 e to the minus x dx so now this guy this alpha can come up can, uh, can come outside and this is from 0 to infinity you can easily see that when x is equal to 0 this guy will make the product 0 when x is equal to infinity this guy because it's e to the minus x this guy will make the product equal to infinity so that is why this goes to uh, this that is uh, this will make it the product equal to 0 so that is why the product is equal to 0 so now we are left with alpha 0 to infinity x to the alpha minus 1 e to the minus x dx which is equal to alpha gamma of alpha okay so then this is the side note here and then this guy we will use over and over again okay now let's start with the mean now mean this is equal to x fx dx so which is equal to x is equal to 0 to 1 now this is equal to we, we can say what we can say 0 to 1 x x to the alpha minus 1 1 minus x to the beta minus 1 dx and then we have a k this is equal to k 0 to 1 x to the alpha 1 minus x to the beta minus 1 dx correct so this is equal to what 
this is equal to note that from from here this should be equal to k times beta of alpha plus 1 and small b so what is k so this is equal to 1 over beta of alpha beta times beta of alpha plus 1 beta okay now we apply the definition using the gamma functions here so our numerator becomes uh, gamma of alpha plus 1 gamma of beta divided by gamma of alpha plus beta plus 1 or divided by our denominator becomes alpha gamma of beta and gamma of alpha plus beta now this can uh, this cancels out with this and then i can write this guy as alpha gamma of alpha divided by alpha plus beta gamma of alpha plus beta divided by gamma of alpha gamma of alpha plus beta this goes this goes this goes this goes so i'm left with just mu this is equal to alpha over alpha plus beta okay so this is my mean here okay now i am interested in the variance so the variance is again this is equal to x squared f of x dx 0 to 1 minus mu x squared okay so let's forget it for now and try to calculate this guy so this is equal to this is equal to what x of alpha plus 1 and 1 minus x of beta minus 1 dx 0 to 1 times k so this is equal to k times beta of alpha plus 2 and beta so which is equal to beta of alpha plus 2 beta divided by beta of alpha and beta correct okay. now again we apply the definition of this guy using gamma functions so using gamma functions we will get this is gamma of alpha plus 2 gamma of beta divided by gamma of alpha plus beta plus 2 and just to simplify i am going to reverse the denom uh, denominator and write it in one one fraction form so this is gamma of alpha plus beta and this is gamma of alpha gamma of correct so this goes this goes okay now we have this guy this guy this guy this guy so now this is easy to see that i can write gamma of alpha plus 2 this is equal to alpha plus 1 into gamma of alpha plus 1 this is equal to alpha plus 1 times alpha times gamma of alpha and then gamma of alpha plus beta plus 2 is similarly alpha plus beta plus 1 alpha plus beta gamma of alpha plus 1 okay so then this guy becomes so this was the side note so this guy becomes alpha plus 1 alpha gamma of alpha divided by and then gamma of alpha plus beta divided by alpha plus beta plus 1 alpha plus beta gamma of alpha plus beta and then gamma of alpha 
So now this goes, this goes, this goes, this goes. So I'm just left with alpha times alpha plus 1 divided by alpha plus beta and alpha plus beta plus 1. So this is the second moment. So the variance is what? So variance is this is equal to alpha times alpha plus 1 divided by alpha plus beta alpha plus beta plus 1 minus alpha over alpha plus beta squared okay now you can leave it like this or you can write it in a simplest form and this is just a basic algebra here and in that sense you have to write it i suppose like this so this is your variance of a beta distribution okay so now all we have done is we have applied the definition of the beta function in terms of the gamma function and use one property of the gamma function uh, repeatedly to come up with to come up with this expression so now in in summary what we have done is we have introduced the beta distribution and we have derived how to uh, derive the mean and variance of that distribution okay so this is it for this video thanks for watching and hope you like the video